Hello and welcome to our video on how to quickly edit your order form on Inspection Support Network. First, let's take a look at how our current order form looks right now. You can get to the order form by clicking on New Order or Inspections and Inspection Order Form. You'll notice across the top our tabs is Property Info, Inspector's Date and Time, Subject Property, Client, etc. You can quickly and easily add tabs, delete tabs, or edit them. You can also add checkboxes, drop downs throughout the order form to your liking. You'll also notice that we don't have an environmental tab, so later on in the video we're going to add one of those as well. So let's get started and go up to Settings and Office Settings. That's Settings and Office Settings. And you'll see under Inspection and Fee Settings, you'll see Customize Order Form. Here's how our order form looks currently. Property Info is our first tab. Inspector's Date and Time is our second tab. If we wanted Inspector's Date and Time to be our first tab, we would just use the Move Up arrow or the green arrow. I'm going to click there and now you'll see our first tab on our order form will be Inspector's Date and Time. Now if you look down at Property Info, you'll see over on the right there are currently 10 controls. Year Built, square feet, pool spa, utilities on, etc. If we wanted to edit that in any way, over on the left hand side we could click on the edit controls icon or the red, yellow, and blue icon. I'm going to click on edit controls for property info and here I could reorder any of the information or delete them with the red X but let's add a control. I'm going to click add a control and you'll notice here that you have your text boxes, check boxes, drop downs, all kinds of different things that you can add to your order form based on what your needs are. Most of the time you're probably going to use a text box or a check box or a drop down. In this particular case, let's add a check box and let's put in that we're adding the question basement. So if I put in basement and I copy that and I put it in my control, So I have basement in all four of those boxes and then I'm going to click on add control. Now you'll see we've added a checkbox for basement and I'm going to click on the green arrow and move it up above our inspection types. So let's go back to our order form and see what we did. Inspections and inspection order form. And you'll see now that we have inspectors date and time as our first tab instead of property info. Now let's click on our second tab, property info and you'll see that we have added the checkbox for basement. It's just that easy to change your orders of your tabs and add or delete checkboxes or drop downs. Now let's say that we wanted to add an environmental tab. So let's go back to our customizing area or settings and office settings and we're going to click on customize order form and you'll see in the upper left hand corner it says add a section. So I'm going to click add a section and I'm going to put environmentals. And I'm going to put in our section description and I'm going to hit add section. And now you'll see we have a new tab or section name called environmentals. I'm going to use the green arrow and move it up above our fees so my fees are last. And now let's say that we want to add some information in our environmentals we're going to click on the edit controls icon for environmentals and I'm going to click on add a control and what do I want to add? Well I'd like to add just a checkbox that says termite and I'm going to make sure and add that to all four of these boxes you don't need to worry about the bottom box unless you're an e-inspections user. And then let's click on Add Control. Over on the right hand side now that we've added Termite, you'll see Show on the Orders Pricing Summary. You probably, for anything that you're going to charge, are going to want to click that and turn it green to show on the Orders Pricing Summary. And we'll go over that in a minute. But let's go ahead and add one more control let's add radon. So I'm going to click on add a control 
And what do I want to add? Well, I want to add a checkbox. And I'm going to put rate on. And I'm going to put it in our top four boxes. And I'm going to click Add Control. And then with Radon over on the right, the show on the orders pricing summary, I'm going to click there and make sure we turn it green. And now let's go back and take a look at our order form and see what we did. Inspections and inspection order form. So let's take a look and review what we've changed. We've changed the inspector's date and time at the top to be the first tab and the property information tab to be second. And we added the basement checkbox. You'll also notice on the right that we've added a new tab or a new section called environmentals. If we click on environmentals, you'll see we've added our checkbox for termite and radon. You'll also notice over on our fees, if we click termite and radon, that it will show over on the left hand side to remind us that we want to click on the fees for termite and radon. So I'll click on 350 for my fees that I've set up earlier and then we'll also click on the radon and we'll also click on the termite and that ladies and gentlemen is how easy it is to edit your order form for Inspection Support Network. If you have any other questions give our support team a call or email them at help at inspectionsupport.net. Have a great day and we hope you're enjoying your Inspection Support Network.